In this video, we will go over the path editing features that are found in the right-click contextual menu. And you'll notice that I have two paths traced and that they are disconnected. And this can be seen in the path manager since one path is not a child of the other. And you might notice that the primary path actually stops abruptly in the middle of the axon. And we can actually continue tracing previously finished paths by using the continue extending path option. To do this, first select the path that you want to continue tracing, either in the path manager or by hovering your mouse over the path and pressing G on the keyboard. Once the path is selected, open the right click menu and choose continue extending path. And you'll notice that the selected path is shown in parentheses. So once I click this, the path will turn red, indicating that it is now a temporary segment and we can continue tracing like before by clicking along the structure until we reach an endpoint. Let's say there, and then press F on the keyboard to finish the path. And you might have noticed that as I was tracing, I did not have to confirm the temporary segments. And this is because I turned off the confirm temporary segments checkbox under the options tab. So now I want to go over the functions that are associated with edit mode. And you'll notice that these functions are currently grayed out, but once we enter edit mode, they will become active. And to enter edit mode, first select the path that you want to edit. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on it so we can see it more clearly. And then once this path is selected, open the right click menu and choose edit path. And you'll see that we have now entered edit mode, which is indicated by this canvas annotation. And you'll notice that if I move my cursor along the path, it activates the nearest node, meaning that we will be able to edit it. Okay, so the first function I'm going to go over is delete active node. And you'll notice that for all of the editing functions, the corresponding keyboard shortcut is shown to the right of each option. Okay, so to delete a node, first hover over the one you want to delete in order to activate it, <clears throat> and then press D on the keyboard, and this will permanently remove that node from the path. All right, so the next feature is insert new node at cursor position with keyboard shortcut I. And then for the same way as delete, just hover over where you want to place the new node and press I on the keyboard and it will insert a new node at that position. Okay, so the third function I'm going to go over is move active node to cursor position with keyboard shortcut M. And like before, select the node that you want to move by hovering over it and then move your cursor to the new position where you want this node to be shifted and press M on the keyboard, and it will move that node to the new position. Note that this does not change the number of nodes in the path. All right, so the next function is bring active node to current Z plane with keyboard shortcut B. And like always, hover over the node you want to be moved, and then scroll through the image stack to the new Z slice where you want this node to be. I'm gonna really exaggerate this here. And then press B on the keyboard, and you'll see that this, mo this node has been moved to this new Z slice. Okay, so the last thing I want to go over is how to merge two existing paths. And to do this, first select the path that you want to merge from, and highlight the node that you want to merge from, and then select the second path you want to merge to, and activate the node you want to merge to. Then open the right-click menu, go down to Connect to, and choose the first path. Now these two paths are merged together and path one is a child of path zero. However, if both of the merging nodes were terminal points, the paths would be merged into a single path. Okay, thanks for watching.